Not if they know what's good for them, they won't. Someone who has the ability to do seven days worth of work in just one day? That's a rare gift. Yeah, but then they're going to ask me to do that every day. And I'll burn out. I mean, I can't do that every day. I mean, it may only take one day worth of my time to do it, but it saps seven days worth of energy out of me. There's no way that I could do that every day and not burn out. So say no! What? I can't just say no to them. I mean, what kind of a person demonstrates that he has the ability to do seven days worth of work in one single day, and then when he's asked to repeat that consistently, he says, oh, no, I don't think I will. I mean, what are they going to think? That I'm a total slacker. Your explanation of it sapping seven days worth of energy out of you made sense to me. Why not just tell them that? That sounds like such an excuse, though. I mean, like, I really don't want to work for six days. I just want to work one day a week. Well, if they don't want your talent, then you'll go elsewhere or start your own business. I mean, what business is it of theirs how you get your work done? If you produce quality work, the demand for it will be there. Believe me, I know. You act as if your choices and how you live your life is not your business. It is your business. It is only your business. You always seem to assume you know what other people are thinking of you, and you always assume that it's the worst. You always assume that they think that you're a slacker, that you're not measuring up. Would you just... chill? I'm wasting time even making this video. Getting the thoughts out of your head is not a waste of time. As any good therapist will tell you. Oh boy. Really, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I am screwed. I am screwed. Don't you realize? Don't you get it yet? You're not even actually unemployed, so I don't see what you're griping about. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I mean, I do have that software job that I'm already working on and getting paid for. I'm a darn good tutor. I mean, I am good at explaining things to people, and I think if I had the opportunity to do some tutoring, my clients would, uh, would uh, realize that. Yes, and that's just the beginning. You could also sell cutlery. You are far, far away from not having any options. Far away indeed. Yeah, but... That job never really went well. I mean, the summer that I had it, I made less money than I normally make in the summer. It sucked. I was afraid to call people. I mean, I hate talking to strangers on the phone. How am I going to get over that? Well, that may be, but you did find the courage to do it anyway, now didn't you? And plus, you do have a substantially higher commission rate now than you did back then. Yeah, I suppose I do have a higher commission rate now. And, if you should resume work, you will begin at that higher commission rate. Also, because you're your own boss, you can start and stop whenever you want. So, if you are re-accepted into the PhD program, you can stop right there and focus entirely on your studies. It's the perfect job. It's self-employment. It's what you're best at. Look, you were meant to be self-employed. You were not meant for this 9-to-5, in a tech, typical job, okay? You were meant to be an independent agent. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You really think I could overcome the hurdle of talking to strangers on the phone? Yes, absolutely I think you can. And as I recall, you enjoyed seeing the customers once you got to them. It was just your phone shyness that was the biggest problem. But you overcame that once. You can do it again. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I suppose I was a lot more sociable when I saw them in person. I had fun, yeah. Okay. Well, why not? Why not? Let's do this thing. I'm 
good enough, I'm smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like me. That's the spirit. Nate the Optometrist is back. I think you mean Nate the Optimist. And why couldn't I be an eye doctor? <laughs> okay, whatever. If you want to be an eye doctor, that's fine. With those shades, I'm starting to wonder if maybe you need one, especially since you're wearing them indoors. How'd you get here? <coughs> Bless you. Really, what makes you think I'm ever going to change? What is up with the lighting? Weird. I mean, my elementary school teachers said that I was rather frustrating. So I was all over the place. I would lose my homework assignment. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut that part out. That would be a side effect of the transporter beam. You know, the, the smallest little distraction came along, and oh, what's that? Ooh. Oh, I've always loved slinkies. The slightest little distraction came along. <laughs> We come in peace. We come in peace. 